Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to do another unboxing. If I'm not mistaken, this is a package from AV8. So let's go into it. Well, it comes in a very big box. So let's slide this open. Whoa, okay, it's quite a big box, which is quite substantial. I think it looks like a dark, dark green, dark army green, if I'm not mistaken. So let's open up the box. Whoa. Okay, instructions. Alright, this is the watch. So this is uh, one of the uh, Mecha Quartz watch. So full disclaimer here, this watch was sent in to me for free by AV8. Yep. So let's take a closer look. Alright, I've managed to peel off all the wrappers and stickers. This piece here is one of AV8's Flyboy series. So if you're not familiar with AV8, AV8 is a brand, a sister brand of uh, Spinnaker. They are under the same Dartmouth brand's company. And most of or all of AV8's watches are inspired by aviation. So that is why the name AV8. So this piece here is one of their Flyboy series and it has a part number of AV-4054-01. This piece is called the Flyboy Lafayette. It's in honor of the so-called Lafayette Escadrille. I hope I pronounced that correctly. It's an American unit under French command during World War I. Of course, they are sort of like an air force during then. And this piece here is powered by a Mecha Quartz. So if I'm not mistaken, it's powered by a Mecha Quartz VK64 by Seiko. The difference between a Quartz chronograph and a Mecha Quartz chronograph is that on a normal or regular Quartz chronograph, each and every subdial is powered by an independent stepper motor, whereas in a Mecha Quartz, the construction is a little bit, a little bit more like a traditional mechanical uh, chronograph watch whereby all the subdials they are driven by gears and there is only one motor to power the, this piece as can be seen here there is no moving second hand that gives this impression that gives the impression of this being you know from afar you wouldn't know whether if it's a quad or automatic or mechanical chronograph so let's try to play with the chronograph here so with the push out of a 2 o'clock pusher, you can see that the center second hand starts to move. And I believe the sub-dial at the 9 is for us to track the passing minutes. And uh, the sub-dial on 3 is more like just a 24-hour indicator. It's sort of like an AM, PM indicator. And there is a date window. I think this is the first time I've seen a, 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 or I've handled a watch with a round date window. I I think it, it balances out the watch quite well because uh, it starts at zero. So let's stop the chronograph. Okay. So the four resets the chronograph. So you look at this carefully. So as you can be seen, the second hand just jumps straight right back to zero rather than uh, moving all around as with a regular quartz chronograph. And the case bag is a simple screw down case bag, very nice. It comes with an AV8 leather. I think the leather feels a little stiff, but uh, I'm not sure how nice it will wear. Okay, I guess that's it for this unboxing video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on the full review video that is going to come soon. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. It does help me a lot. And you can also follow me on my Instagram at gfw underscore watch for more watch pictures. Till then, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.